Website after website shows photo after photo, but behind every face, the same question. We want answers, the family, they want answers. Never goes outside. When stories like Gabby Petito's grab national headlines, it does give a boost to these local missing people. A lot of people were really interested in that case and they reflect, well, what about in my own backyard? Nearly 900 people are missing in Missouri, more than 600 in Kansas. But why did this woman's tragedy grab the spotlight? I think it's highlighting what has become known now as a missing white woman uh, perspective. Michael Tabman uh, retired from his position as FBI special agent in charge. I also think it creates a danger in are we sending a message that uh, women of minority or low economic status are fair game and it's not going to be pursued you know as greatly as a white woman being missing or, or, or attacked. And he's seen plenty of missing persons cases. Some ended well and others didn't. But if it's not her, it's somebody else's daughter. And doesn't that person deserve the same compassion that we have for somebody who's just being highlighted in the media? For the families of these faces, waiting for answers, waiting for a tip, waiting for their ending, whatever it may be. Rebecca Gannon, KMBC 9.